Welcome back everybody to uh, another Rempai video of mine. I'm going to quickly say at the beginning here that this is not going to be my best Renpai video that I've ever done. It's a very simple area to work with and I thought it'd be perfect because I've been super busy lately. Uh, I'll, I'll talk about all that at the end of this video. If you do like Renpai videos, I do suggest checking out some of my other videos. Anyway, let's get started into this. And the first thing we're going to talk about here is, uh, well, up here is the name of the game, so you can name it whatever you want. Of course, we named it Test 2. Uh, this one here, and why I was kind of highlighted on it when you guys saw me start the video, um, this one here is a little bit more different. This is not in your game when you open options. And I actually started re recording this video, and then I realized that it was false. Actually, no, I'm going to use this to my advantage. So, I recorded this one first for you guys. This is an accident <laughs> that happened. Um, but when I started up, of course, I had already done a video about this and I forgot to change this back. So, as I was just talking to you guys probably in the future recording of this video that I haven't recorded yet, uh, I have this as false. So when it's false, if I go back over to the game and I push shift R, like we've done before, and that's my phone, hopefully you didn't hear it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Notice how nothing changed. Nothing changed at all. And what that does is it stops you from being able to hit the shift R in your game and have it load every time you save the script. So watch how I can do that now. There, see how it flickered a little bit? Maybe you saw it, maybe it didn't. But now at this point, I can now just, whenever I save options or anything in the game stuff, it's going to change it right through onto the game. It's not something that's already in there, so it's something you can add to the game. And I always add it right here and keep it as true until I'm going to be releasing my game, then I remember to come back in here and change it to false. This down here is a cursor. You guys might have noticed that my cursor is a paw print on here. See, it's kind of on his, right by his eye. And uh, so yeah, this is a cursor that I made. Uh, ha you can make your own cursor, or maybe you can find one somewhere. This is where you're going to put the cursor information as to what the cursor is going to look like. I, I might talk about like how to make a cursor in another video, but for right now, I'm just going to say that's where you put it in. Uh, the cursor itself goes into your images folder. Yeah, so that's pretty much all you need to know there. I'll give you guys a chance to copy it down. I believe you can see everything. Yes, you can. Perfect, perfect. So we're going to now go down to here where it says show game or show name false, basically. Uh, this, I'll show you what happens when we change it to true. And we'll go save. And again, because we hit the shift R and we have this developer thing as true, it will actually change what's happening on the screen. So you can see now in the bottom corner that it says Test 2, which is the name of the game. It also has the version number underneath it. I don't want that. When I'm making my game, I uh, often just like to have it where I put the, the title within the picture of the game itself. Now, yeah, this is saying it's LeVar's life, and it's not LeVar's life, um, but whatever this is just a silly little thing i'm doing for you guys so we're going to change this back to false i think yeah when you first make your game it's going to say true here you can change it to false if you do not want it this is the one where you do it at okay so i'm going to now save it and it's going to take that name away boom just like that version number i still keep the version numbers even though people can't see it just so i know what version of the script i'm working on uh, some of the stuff down here, I don't, like, none of this really totally matters, I don't think. Um, then we have the name of the game, again. Okay, now we get into sounds and music. This is going to be in our settings or preferences, if you guys still have it labeled as that. 
Right now you can see it says music and volume, and it's actually muting. Can you guys hear anything? Okay, good. I just want to make sure. Um, so it has uh, sound and music right now. That is because I took away the voice. I don't have any voice acting in my games, so I took that away. If you don't have voice acting in your game, it, games, it's probably better to take that away. Otherwise, people are confused, wondering if they're supposed to hear a voice or not. So, I just put it as false. Very simple. If you don't have any music or you don't have any sound, then you can take those away too. Just remember, though, if you don't have... Like, if you have sound, or something like any sort of sound effects where you're saying play sound in the script, that's a sound. So make sure you have it. Same with music. Make sure you have it. Um, then we have down here, and I kind of, I just put the little hashtag in front of it. We have the, um, samples that you can use. So I'm just going to show you the first sample because it doesn't matter. We also don't have voice showing on our thing, so it'd be stupid to have a sample for it. It's, I still just have their version of the sample. But I do have a one for the sound. So let's quickly save, and we can see. So say someone's playing the game and they want to know, is this the correct volume that I want to at? So they can hit test. Okay, so you can hear that a little bit. Let's put it all the way up really loud. Okay. Now, obviously, if you are going to make one of these test sounds, you want it to be a very immediate thing. In this case that I have, I just picked a random sound from our game already. And there is, uh, like, it's kind of a slow draw up to being as loud as it's going to be. You want something like a ding or, or whatever, something really quick. Something that they can hear it right away. As soon as they hit that test button, they know this is the volume I want it at. Okay. So, yeah. That's what that's about. Um, we can leave it, I guess. Why not? No major reason not to. We are going to do one quick thing here as well. This is going to, I'm going to show you this and then take it away. So when you are doing this, this coding's already here, I believe, but it doesn't have a, a title for something. I think it just has like a, you know, something like this, sample voice, something. This is where you can put the song you want to be playing in the background on your main menu screen. Okay, so when I take this away, we're gonna I'm gonna go back to the main menu just to make it a little bit easier. We don't have anything else going on, so I'll return and our file save. <laughs> So you can see now we got music, okay? But I don't want that because I'm talking to you guys, so we're going to take that away. File, save. And it's gone, okay? So that's what you do for, for that, to have some music here. That's what you do. Transitions. Now we're into the transitions. I'm not sure what this looks like on a regular game that's never been touched before. I believe it is just Dissolve. Entering the game menu and exiting the game menu. Okay, so what I'm going to show you guys real quick. Something that I know exactly. I just want to know where I'm putting this for. So this is for the game menu. So we're going to... I'm just going to hit Enter. And I'm going to put a hashtag because I want to keep this information, right? Not that I can't write the word Dissolve again, but with the cord in the way, I don't really want to do too much writing, so... We're going to put none here. You guys can look, I believe, on the Rempi website. They have a bunch of different transitions you can use. Um, but I'm just going to put none here just to give you guys a really quick example of it. So I'm going to go File, Save. I believe this will happen now if I go to Settings. No, okay, so it's, I think it's in the game. So we're just going to get past this. This is a little look if you guys want to... Uh, uh, if you guys want to know some of the other videos I've done on Rampai, this is going to give you a little bit of a look at it. And uh, this is a password that I have that I'm probably going to take off soon because I'm tired of typing it in all the time. Because you have to type it in right, you can't just hit enter. So, And then what is your name? I can hit enter here. So there we go. Hello Nora. Uh, Nora says my color is yellow. I just want to get into a spot. So Scar was the one talking. That's a random character we have. It will pick a random character every time we play. This also is a random event. Sometimes it's nighttime, sometimes it's daytime, depending on uh, what the game picks out. I have all those in different videos, okay? But that's not what we're here for. We're here for this. So let me click on settings. 
See how it suddenly came up? It's a, a sudden jump to this screen. Uh, let's go to return. And I'm going to show you what it was before. What it would do before. So we're going to put that back to dissolve. And we're gonna save. It's going to flicker. There we go. And when I go, let's go to settings. See how it slowly went in? So that's what you're doing here. Is you're doing the... Uh, uh, these two here is for entering the screen and exiting the screen. So I'm not going to show you both. There's no reason to. I think you guys get the idea, right? Um, I do want to do one thing though, and we want to get rid of the music because it's too loud and I want to talk to you guys. Uh, screen or between screens of the game menu. So this here says dissolve. We could put it to none. I'm not going to do it though just because it takes forever. But that would be like, for example, here, watch. When we go to load, we go to save, go to, we'll go back to settings. See how it slowly is fading between each? You could put none if you want like a solid thing, or there's other transitions that you might want to do. Uh, load after transition. After the game is loaded. Okay, do I have a game that's loaded? So no, we don't have a, oh, maybe I do. Load. Load, we can go to a quick save, can we? Here, we'll go to this one here. So we're going to load this game here. Are you sure? Yes. Yeah. So now watch, it should go... It's going to be uh, very fast, but in this case, uh, instead, it could be a dissolve. But see how it just like went there really quickly? You could have it where it dissolves just like the other menus, right? End game transition. So when you finish the game, it's going to dissolve. Again, you could have it suddenly go back to the main menu, or you can have it dissolve into the main menu. And I'll just show you the dissolve, even though I believe that that's what we already have in the game. Sorry, we went really quickly there. You guys can kind of see we did, uh... This is just some of the other stuff that we... that you guys missed out on if you haven't seen my other videos. And <laughs> let's test. We can see LeVar's floating there. Uh, but anyway, do you want to play again? We're gonna say no. And this is going to now dissolve, I believe, is it? Or, yeah, it will dissolve into the main menu. There we go. Okay. So, another uh, Timmy2 from the future here. I feel like I'm doing you guys a bit of a disservice with this video itself because I'm not really giving you guys a whole lot of like actual interesting information. So, I don't know a whole lot about transitions, but I went to the uh, RenPy website and I thought, let's try out some because it's only fair for you guys that we actually try something different with this. So, we're going to go into the load here and we're going to be dealing with... So we're just going to play around with the load. You can do it with any of these transition ones. We're going to just copy and paste and we'll see which ones we can do. First we have to hit shift R because I've been out of it. I'm actually in the middle of editing this video as I'm making this one. So, so I'm just going to go and copy and paste and let's play around and see what ones we can do real quick. I'm actually going to mute myself and I'm going to probably speed this up a little bit. So.
There. So I hope you guys sort of liked some of those. I just did it fairly quickly for you guys. That's just some of them. You guys can look up other ones. Those were the ones at the top of their... Um, at the top of the Rempi website, which I'll post in the uh, description of this video if you guys need to go check it out. You guys can look up if you guys want to find some other different types of transitions that you like better. But those are just some of the ones that you guys can pick from now, just to make your game just a little bit more different from someone else's, okay? And again, this these transitions can be applied to any of these different areas here, depending on what you're going for. And I hope that you guys enjoy the rest of this video. Okay, so that's all about the transitions here. And uh, so I hope you guys understand that at least a little bit. Window management. This is showing and hiding the dialog window. Uh, let me just load a game here. It's much easier to do it that way. We can load, let's load that one. Uh, let me go back. Okay. So here, we got it as set at two. Let's change it to nine. So this is going to show where it's showing the window. I'm going to just work with this one here because this is just hiding the window. I think you guys can figure out if it what it looks like showing it, you can figure it out what it looks like hiding it. So just so we're not taking forever on this, let's do it. So save. It's going to do a little flicker. Okay, so now I'm going to click the button again and it will show you how quickly this bottom part here is what you're looking at. This is the dialog window down here and how long it takes to fade in. See how it slowly faded in a lot slower than it is normally? We're going to change it back to a 2. Uh, let me go back. Go File, Save. Okay, now try to remember what it looked like a few seconds ago, and here it is again. See how fast that is? Much faster. So we're going to keep it at 2. 2 is a good, uh, or point two, obviously, is a good uh, number to be at, I think. Um, when we get down to here... Okay, so this is going to show you what the original starting point for the text speed is for people who are playing. So when you, someone's starting your game, this is what the uh, what what you want it to be. Okay, uh, I'm going to put 90 here. Save. Now watch how slow this is. No, oh, that's fast. Why is it fast? Oh, maybe if... Oh, no, it's slower. That's right. So you want a smaller number. Watch. Okay, so this is the preference one. So... See how slow that was? A little slower? I mean, I can make it really slow if I want to. Let's just make it two. Yeah, we'll make it really slow. Ah, that's slow. <laughs> okay. But what this is doing here is it's changing this button here. So if you set it to a certain thing, it's up to the player if they're like, nah, that is way too slow, I'm not going to do that. So they can just change it to this, and we'll go back to return, and go back, and now it's just super fast again, right? So it's up to the player, uh, obviously, um, just for my own sanity, I'm going to leave it at 30 for now, and I'll show you what the 30 looks like. Yeah, that's okay for now. Uh, I would probably suggest going faster. Again, it's up to the player, right? They can change it if they want to. This down here is the auto... Uh, like the time going forward. So that's this one here, the auto forward time. Okay. Uh, I leave this again at the same. It depends on the reader. They're, they can change it if they want to. So if you want it to go fast, you can have it go fast. If you want it to go slow, you can have it go slow. Uh, so is it was zero between zero and a, and thirty? You can have it set at. So I like fifteen. That's in between, and uh, people can determine if they want to. So what is happening with this? For example, let's go back quite a bit. If we hit auto, you can see how the little button down at the bottom is is lit up in yellow, and you can see how now it changed to the next one, and then it will change to the next one in a bit. You know, I don't know if it is like how long the last letter was put in kind of thing that it takes it so you get the idea okay that's the auto time forward 
Um, so yeah, you can set it to whatever. Again, the player can change it if they want to. It's not really that important, I don't think, either of these two, just because the player can change them anyways. So, set it however you want it to be. The save directory, I never change. So I'm not even going to get into that stuff with you guys, because I don't know a whole lot about it. Personally, I find this to be perfectly fine. I don't see why it's not... <laughs> why, why it wouldn't be. If you guys want to tell me why it wouldn't be, let me know. Uh, icon. This is the little icon that it shows if, like, they have it on their, their, uh, like a shortcut on the desktop kind of thing. This is, uh, this is just the name of the icon. Um, I, I haven't even changed this one, unfortunately. But that's also because I can't show you guys too much about it. But in Lavar's Life, I have one. So you just change the name here. It goes in the GUI folder, not the images folder. And you want to make it the right size, too. So look that up online. Um, or maybe I'll look it up for you guys. I'll put it on the screen. What the size is for uh, your icons and stuff. But uh, yeah, that's simple, simple stuff. I don't need to talk to you guys too much about that. This here is the final part that we're going to talk about today before we're done. Um, so when you're making your game at the end, you want to hide a lot of your game files. And this is the ones that I hide. Um, here. Look and see what type of files you have in your game. So you want to hide like the things like the PNG files, the JPEGs, the MP3s, anything like that that you just don't want people getting access to. A lot of the times, like I do my own artwork for everything and I don't really want people having full access to all my stuff, all the little pieces of the game. So they could just easily go and make their own game. I guess people could if they wanted to, but it might take a bit of time because, you know, you can't really fully get the characters cut out unless you go through and cut it out individually and it won't look as nice unless you have the actual files, you know. So I just personally prefer to have uh, those files all hidden along with the mp3s and of course this is the video file that I use for at the start of Lavar's life the actual game um, so yeah you just put this in again you guys can kind of see what I chose to put in uh, huge suggestion here is just copy and paste this a bunch of times it's already written up here and then instead you just add the game and then put in what you want to put in kind of thing right these are all the ones I added, I think. I think the ones above are all ones that are already in the thing. If we go down here, uh, I think these are already just listed as well, so I just left it. When it comes to like the Google Play keys and stuff like that, I don't know a lot about it, so I'm really not the best person to talk to about that. Um, I don't even know if I'm ever going to even get into any of that stuff in my personal thing, because I don't, I don't want to be putting... I don't do the the mobile games too much but if you do you definitely might want to look into whatever this is down here <laughs> anyways that's it that's that's the options menu and uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed it but before I go there was a couple things I wanted to talk to you guys about if you guys are interested in hearing about the rest of the stuff going on we'll go back to the main menu and I will oops let's go back to the main menu why not uh, just sort of the short version of what's going on is uh, I'm going to take June off. I know I just took some time off and I get that you guys are probably like, why are you taking more time off? Um, but I had like a whole bunch of stuff happen when uh, I got this new job and it's just been a lot of, I, I would say good stuff, but it is stressful stuff. So I just kind of want to have like a little bit of a, you know, a relaxing time. Like my, my month off in March wasn't overly relaxing. It was really stressful and crazy, but fun, you know. So I want to, I'm going to take that time off, the June off kind of thing. And then I'll be back in July and we're going to be starting back with a new game. And I'm going to be, uh, hopefully I can do some more Rampai videos if I've thought of anything new to share with you guys. Otherwise, hopefully some new art videos for sure. That would be nice. And uh, yeah, so I just wanted to let you guys know that that's happening, that that's about to happen. I don't know what I'm going to do for the next week 
video. I know I normally go every other week, but I did make you guys wait a while for this silly little video. So I'm gonna do another video next week if I can. But I think it's gonna be an art video as opposed to a Renpai video. And I'm just debating about whether I want to do like a tutorial type video, like how to make a cursor and stuff like that, or whether I want to do a speed paint or kind of like a mix of both maybe. Maybe have some talking, some uh, some speeding up of it kind of thing, so we'll see. We'll see what happens. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to end this now and I will see you guys in the future. Bye bye!